بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so the, our next dua is when we want to do something so first I'll read it quickly we say in sha Allah in sha Allah so when we want to do something we say in sha Allah which means if Allah wills so the way you read this is so the e we join to the nun in shin alif sha in sha is a uh, the hamza we join to the lam in the middle Allah who will make the last letter zakin in sha Allah in sha Allah in sha Allah which means if Allah wills so when we say this is when we want to do something in the future so we should always say in sha Allah at the end of the sentence to remind us that we'll only be able to do it if Allah gives us the ability to do it because if Allah doesn't want us to do it we'll never be able to do that thing for example um, I say to my parents I want to go to the park I will go to the park tomorrow inshallah yeah so because we'll only be able to go to the park if Allah gives us the ability to go to the park so that's why we say inshallah or we say in and tomorrow I will go to town and buy something insha'Allah if Allah wishes yes yeah, so this is how we use this dua